there is something out there, something vast, silent, and moving through our solar system right now, and I need to tell you about it because what we are witnessing may change everything we thought we knew about the universe. For months, every major observatory on Earth has been tracking this object, measuring it, debating what it could possibly be. But right now, at this very moment, it has vanished behind the blinding glare of our sun. It feels as though the cosmos itself has drawn a curtain, hiding something extraordinary from our view. And the question we are all asking is this, what will we find when it reemerges? If you're captivated by the, uh, the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. The object has a name, 3i Atlas. It is the third confirmed interstellar visitor to ever enter our cosmic neighborhood. But calling it a visitor feels inadequate. Because this thing, this frozen mountain from another star system, behaves like nothing I have ever seen in my entire career as a physicist. It does not drift passively through space. It reacts. It changes. It challenges the very foundation of what we understand about how matter behaves under the influence of our sun. And here is what keeps me awake at night. We do not yet know if what we are seeing is natural or something far more profound. Let me take you back to where this story begins. July 1st, 2025. The Atlas Telescope Network in Hawaii picks up a faint, fast moving point of light streaking across the sky. At first, astronomers treat it like any other object, just another comet, maybe an asteroid, nothing special. But then they run the calculations and suddenly everything changes. The speed is wrong. 58 kilometers per second. That is faster than any object bound to our solar system should ever move. And its trajectory? Hyperbolic. An open curve that slices through the sun's gravitational field like a blade. This means one thing. This object is not from here. Do you understand how rare that is? In all of human history, we have only confirmed two other objects that originated beyond our solar system. Oumuamua in 2017, which moved so fast, we barely had time to study it. And Borisov in 2019, which at least acted like a normal comet, but 3i Atlas? It refuses to play by the rules. It is massive, perhaps up to 12 kilometers wide. An entire mountain range drifting through the void. But size is not what astonished me and my colleagues. It was the precision. The orbit of 3i Atlas is aligned within 3 degrees of the ecliptic. That is the same flat plane along which every planet in our solar system orbits the sun. For a random object from interstellar space to align itself that perfectly by chance, the odds are almost impossible. Imagine tossing a coin from another galaxy and having it land perfectly on its edge. That is the level of statistical improbability we are dealing with. So I had to ask myself, was this coincidence? Or was this choreography, as 3i Atlas moved closer to the sun, something remarkable began to happen. It started to brighten. Now that is normal for comets. Sunlight vaporizes their frozen surfaces and they glow. But Atlas did not just brighten, it erupted. NASA's test satellite recorded a five-fold increase in luminosity, far beyond what any model predicted. It was as if something inside the object had awakened, and then came the chemical shift, sudden, violent, completely inexplicable. The gases streaming from its surface changed composition overnight. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water flipped from 8 to 1 to 1 to 8. Think about what that means. This object was rewriting its own chemistry in real time. Fear sag. And, but here is where it gets truly strange. The way Atlas scattered sunlight was unlike anything we had ever observed. Instead of the familiar diffuse reflection you would expect from icy dust, the light was negatively polarized. The waves were parallel, reversed, like an echo whispered backward through space. Mm. No natural object had ever behaved like that. 
Theorists scrambled for explanations. Ultrafine dust grains, metallic crystals formed under alien conditions, nickel or carbon lattice structures. None of these theories fully satisfied the data. And there was a question hanging in the air, one that no one wanted to say out loud. Could the reflected light be more than just reflection? Could it be communication? That question, as outrageous as it sounds, lingered in every scientific meeting. Every late night conversation I had with astronomers staring at spectral graphs, trying to make sense of the impossible. Because if there is one thing I have learned in my decades studying the cosmos, it is this. The universe has a way of surprising us precisely when we think we understand it. By October, 3i Atlas reached its perihelion, the point of closest approach to the sun. 1.4 astronomical units just inside the orbit of Mars. And then for a few brief days, it vanished completely, hidden behind the solar glare. Even the Hubble Space Telescope, even the James Webb Space Telescope, even the Hubble Space Telescope, DJ Space, even the Hubble Space Telescope, instruments powerful enough to see galaxies billions of light years away, were blinded by our own star. For the first time since this encounter began, we were forced to wait, to wonder, to imagine what was happening beyond that curtain of light. Picture this with me. Somewhere behind the sun's golden veil, a frozen mountain forged in another star system is now boiling under a storm of radiation. Ancient ice, sealed for billions of years, is sublimating directly into vapor. No melting, no transition, just raw transformation. Solid into gas. Jets of vapor and dust are bursting from fissures across its surface, sculpted by solar wind into a tail that stretches millions of kilometers but this tail refuses to obey the laws of physics. Instead of pointing away from the sun, it points toward it, an anti-tail, a phenomenon seen only in the rarest comets and never this pronounced. Yeah? What could make a comet defy the pressure of solar wind? Some scientists said it was just geometry, an optical illusion caused by perspective. Others were not so sure because weeks later, the anti-tail abruptly corrected itself, aligning normally once more. And in that moment, one scientist whispered what many feared to say aloud. It is learning. The word learning implies intent, and intent implies something we are not ready to confront. And meanwhile, spectrographic analysis revealed another enigma. Atlas was releasing nickel without iron. Now these two metals are cosmic twins. They are born together in the hearts of supernovae. For one to appear without the other suggested a formation process entirely alien to our stellar neighborhood. But then, as the object neared the sun, the balance normalized, iron reappeared, the ratio stabilized. It was as if the visitor were adapting, tuning itself to the local conditions of our sun's environment. When I took to the airwaves to discuss this gust discovery, I tried to capture what I was feeling, a mixture of awe and caution that has accompanied every great scientific revelation in history. This object, I said, is not merely a comet, it is a relic, a frozen memory of a galaxy older than our own. Every molecule escaping from it is a message written in the language of physics, and we are only beginning to learn how to read. That idea that the universe might communicate through chemistry, through light, ignited imaginations worldwide. For centuries, humanity has looked up at the stars and wondered if someone, somewhere, might be looking back. Now, for the first time, it seemed possible that an answer might come not as a radio signal, not as a beam of light, but as a visitor. A messenger carved from ancient ice and dust whispering across billions of years. Tracing the orbit of 3i Atlas backward through time, astronomers using the Gaia star catalog discovered something profound. Its origin lies not in the crowded arms of the Milky Way, but in the galactic thick disk, a region older and sparser, 
populated by ancient metal poor stars that formed nearly 8 bi billion years ago. This object is, in every sense, a messenger from another age. It drifted through interstellar darkness for millions of years before chance, or perhaps destiny, drew it toward our sun. And at the edge of our solar system, sunlight struck its surface and awakened its chemistry. The object began to exhale, to shine, to announce its presence like a ghost breathing for the first time in eons. Now, here is what you need to understand. When Atlas reemerges in December, it will not be the same. It will bear scars, fractures, jets, perhaps even fragments ejected into new orbits. And within those scars lies knowledge. We will analyze the spectra, the dust, the tail, and through them, we will attempt to decode a message billions of years in the making. In that sense, 3i Atlas is not just an object. It is a dialogue between the past and the present, between stars long dead and minds newly awakened, between the silence of interstellar space and the fragile civilization that dares to listen. When December finally arrives and telescopes around the world turn to the same patch of sky, what will they find? Early data from solar coronagraphs, faint magnetic oscillations from the Parker Solar Probe, all hint that the object has survived its ordeal. Something has held it together, something stronger than ice and dust. And as it re-enters our view, every second of light that reaches our detectors will carry answers. Or perhaps more questions, because already the early data suggests something I find deeply unsettling. Subtle variations in brightness, a rhythmic fluctuation, regular, deliberate, too uniform to be random. Some call it rotation. Others whisper another word, signal. The pattern is real. A pulse every 47 seconds, not 46, not 48, exactly 47. The precision is unnerving. Data from Hubble, from James Webb, from ground-based telescopes around the world all confirm it. And when translated into a spectrogram, the pattern forms harmonic layers, an ascending progression of frequencies that mirror the geometric ratios found in hydrogen's spectral lines. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, and the one symbolically chosen for interstellar communication. And it, no one wants to say it aloud, not yet but in quiet offices, under dim monitors glowing with the spectrum of an alien visitor, a realization is spreading. Perhaps we are not simply observing a coincidence. Perhaps we are being observed in return. Here is the expanded version of that section with much more depth, curiosity hooks, and dramatic pacing. You know, this, I believe, may be the first message we have ever received, not in sound or text, but in chemistry, in light itself. If so, it means the universe is speaking through its oldest language, and whether natural or engineered, 3i Atlas has already changed us. It has reminded us that we are not the center of the story, but participants in something infinitely larger. Uh, let me tell you why this matters so deeply. For over 60 years, we have been searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. We have pointed radio telescopes at the sky, listening for patterns in the cosmic static. We chose specific frequencies, like the 21 centimeter hydrogen line, because hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. If any civilization wanted to communicate with us, we reasoned, they would use a universal constant, something any technologically advanced species would recognize. But what if we were looking in the wrong place? What if the message was not being broadcast through radio waves at all, but encoded in the very fabric of matter itself? What if, instead of listening for a signal, we should have been watching for a visitor? Uh, night after night, the telescopes record, the rhythmic pulse continues, the 47-second cadence, perfectly regular, perfectly timed. And then without warning, it changes. The signal doubles, then triples. The precision is staggering. Within hours, the brightness rises again, not explosively, but gracefully, like a controlled breath. 
like something exhaling after holding itself in silence for eons, observers describe it as synchronization, a phase shift, as if the object were aligning itself with something unseen. But aligning with what? There is nothing else in that region of space. No gravitational source. No magnetic anomaly. Just empty void. And yet, the signal responds as though it is listening, as though it is answering. A week later, the tail fractures. At first, we think it is a natural instability, the kind of thing that happens when a comet sheds material under thermal stress. But then we see the pattern. Three distinct streams of light separate cleanly from the main body, like fingers unfurling from a clenched fist. They drift apart, maintaining equal distances from one another, and then, impossibly, they weave back together into a braided formation. The symmetry is perfect, too perfect. In one frame captured by the very large telescope, the tail briefly forms a triangular geometry. Three, because a right question is more valuable than a thousand wrong answers. And 3i Atlas has taught us to ask this. If intelligence can be encoded in chemistry and light in the very dance of particles through space, then what else have we been missing? How many messages have passed through our solar system unrecognized because we were listening for words when the universe was speaking in motion? You know, Three-Eye Atlas has disappeared into the darkness. Now a visitor we can no longer see, but its story, like the light it left behind, continues to travel quietly endlessly toward the next curious mind willing to follow its path across the stars. So the wretch when the next interstellar visitor arrives, and it will, perhaps we will be better prepared. Perhaps we will listen not just with instruments, but with imagination. Because what Atlas showed us is that wonder itself is a kind of intelligence. The ability to recognize mystery and seek understanding without fear the courage to admit that we do not yet have all the answers and that perhaps the universe prefers it that way. Somewhere beyond Jupiter, a dim traveler continues its slow escape into the void. Its pulse has ceased. Its message, if it was a message, delivered. But the universe is vast. And somewhere, another fragment of a forgotten world may already be on its way crossing the gulf between stars, carrying within it the memory of ancient suns. When it comes, we will look up again. We will point our telescopes, our instruments, our questions, and once more, we will listen. Because that is what it means to be human, to look into the darkness, to see what cannot be seen, and to ask not simply what is out there, but who we are within it. And perhaps, just perhaps, the next time a visitor arrives, we will be ready to hear what it has been, trying to tell us all along. Duh! Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.